Australia's Victoria State is now under a state of disaster, and that includes the country's second biggest city, Melbourne. The Premier made that declaration yesterday, announcing stricter lockdown measures and a nightly curfew to try and curb the rising COVID-19 infection rates. Freelance reporter Phil Mercer is in Sydney in the neighbouring state of New South Wales. We spoke with him earlier and he told us that in the last 24 hours there were 13 deaths recorded in Victoria. That equals the deadliest day of the pandemic so far here in Australia. In Victoria, more than 400 new infections reported in the past day. Now, compared with other countries around the world, these figures might not seem to be too large, but in the Australian context, they are significant and they are disturbing, and they have led to Australia's strictest lockdown measures. Five million people live in the city of Melbourne. They are now subject to a nighttime curfew. There are other restrictions regarding workplaces, many shops and other construction sites, and manufacturing shut down. And it's estimated that one million workers in the state of Victoria are being told to stay at home. And as one government minister said, the situation in Victoria is uh, like a wartime situation. This is the second time this year that the city of Melbourne and more broadly the state of Victoria have been subject to lockdown restrictions in Melbourne. They are at uh, level four, which is uh, pretty severe for five million people. So there are feelings of fear, anxiety and frustration. I think many people would feel like they're in some sort of uh, under house arrest, given that they must stay within five kilometres of their home and only one person per household is allowed to go to the shops each day. So uh, a lot of mixed emotions, I think. Uh, fear with the rising number of coronavirus infections, uncertainty, because these lockdown restrictions are, are scheduled to last for six weeks. But of course, if these infections continue to rise and the outbreak is not contained, who knows when this will all end? That was freelance reporter Phil Mercer in Sydney.